I'm Sean Rice from the International Tour of the Addams Family, and thank you for turning into my playthrough of Face Eater. The basic skeleton of the game is Gin Rummy, so if you know how to play that, you are one step ahead. If you don't, however, I'm going to go through some of the rules right here so you'll be able to follow along with what's going on. The object of the game is to get rid of all your normal cards and have the fewest amount of points. Simple, right? The game is very fast-paced and scores change very rapidly. You play with two to six players and you go for up to three rounds, although you can choose whatever your game group wants to do. Each round lasts from a couple of minutes to about a half hour. The first thing you really need to do is to appoint a scorekeeper who's going to have a pen and paper with them. Uh, points fly back and forth very quickly in this game and you see need someone to take notes as the game goes and then they can add them all up at the end of every round. Once you've done that and shuffled the cards, every player is going to cut the deck and the player who has the highest number card is going to be the first player. The dealer then gives out 13 cards to every player, but 15 to the first player. Players may not look at their cards until the first player has called the goal of the game. Unlike Phase 10, Face Eater's younger cousin, the goals aren't set in stone. Every round, the first player will decide what the goal of the game will be. A set of three, a run of four, a straight flush, whatever it is, they get to decide. Once the goal is set, then everyone can look at their cards. Now, if someone is lucky enough to have not been dealt any number cards, then they will declare a shaft, effectively ending that round and giving them negative 400 points. Assuming that doesn't happen, each player will draw two cards from the draw pile at the beginning of their turn, except for the first player on their first turn because they've already been dealt their two cards. If a player has all the cards they need to complete the goal, they will set down the cards in front of them face up. That is called setting down, and it gets them negative 200 points if they're the first one to do so. After you've set down, you will only draw one card at the beginning of every turn. And once you've set down, you can play any number of cards on your set or other players who have also set down. What that means, if I, what that means is if I have a set of three fives and I have another five in my hand, I can play that five on that car on that set getting rid of that card out of my hand i can do that for any player who's already set down their cards I can only play in other people's hands if I've set down, though. And you end your turn by discarding one of your normal cards. By normal cards, I mean your number cards or your face cards. If when you discard, you have no more normal cards in your hand, this is called going out. The first person to go out also gets negative 200 points and effectively ends that round. Now, you're going to have three types of cards in your hand. You're going to have your normal cards, uh, 1 through 10, Ace, King, Queen, and Jack. You're going to have Face Eater cards. Now these are point guzzlers. If the round ends while you have some of these in your hand, they're going to add 100 up to 400 points for every card in your hand, depending upon the severity of the card. So you want to get rid of those as soon as possible. The hitch is that you can't discard a Face Eater card until you've set down. The last type of card you're going to have in your hand are Power Cards. Now these are what makes the game really, really fun. They can be played at any time, and they're either going to add negative points to your score, add positive points to your opponent's score, or try to screw with your opponents in some way. They can be played all the way throughout the end of the scoring of the round, so there's a lot of backstabbing that can go on if you, well, play your cards right. Because of the different types of cards, you're going to have two discard piles on the table. One for your power cards that you're using, and one for your normal cards. The reason that that is important is because every time you draw a card at the beginning of your turn, you can draw one of those cards from the top of the discard pile of the normal cards. When someone goes out, you add up all the cards that you have left in your hand. Cards that you've put down, set down already, do not add to your points. Number cards are worth 5 points, face cards and 10s are worth 10 points, jokers are 50, and your face eaters are 100, 200, 300, 400, depending upon the severity of the card. Add up your score and give it to your scorekeeper. That's pretty much it. Let's do a playthrough and meet the players. Hi, I'm Brian. Uh, Brian Mulmicki, I play Lucas in the show. My strategy, though I'm a very uh, kind-hearted person in real life, is to be as mean-spirited as possible, make everyone else rack up points, so that if I don't end up being the one going out, maybe their points will count against them and I'll still win the round. Hi, I'm Blair Anderson, and I play Alice Beinecke, and my strategy is to use my angelic demeanor to fool people into going easy on me and then getting them in the end. Okay, so we've already decided who's going first, and that's Blair, and we've already decided that we're playing two sets of three. So here we go. Alright, so I'm going to take five cards. Oh, and I'm 
doing scorekeeping. I'll get my stuff over here. Giving Blair a parasite. Oh, so you missed this game so much. Let's get you back into it. Um, what can you use to not? Can you say you must be joking? Uh, or is parasite. That... Or is that just the... Just you just must be joking. Is that the one that's... Uh, see, we're still checking the rules. Is that the one that's uh, uh, used for all? I think it's for any power card. And immunity will also cancel. Yeah, yeah, immunity will definitely will cancel. You must be joking. Cancels any special attack or combination of attacks. In the form of two cards, blah, blah, blah. I would say it's a cancel. Yeah, I would say so too. You say you just cannot use a cancel. Right. It's hard with it. Or immunity. So now she is immune forever. So. Well, it's not forever. Right? Immunity protects you from being victimized by any afflictions. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. Um. <laughs> If we could announce to what we're doing so that people will know what we're at. Okay, that's a take 50 points, so I have to take that. And she's also put down two minus 200 points. I'm going to use this as a take five card. Yes. So I'm still going, guys. <laughs> uh, you can only give yourself one take ten or take five card per round. Oh. Uh, now that's a multi shot. Does that count? Yeah, that's what you're using it as that, yeah. So. So you take it back? Yeah. Sorry about it. That's okay. Um. The roll master over here. Rolls are good. Rolls are good. Control the fun. Politician, take minus 200 points and kickbacks while your opponents receive 200 points each. Maybe individually canceled but not reversed. Brian is canceling his. I cannot cancel mine. So I will take 200 points and Blair will take negative 200 points. And thus ends my turn with a... <laughs> an ace. That's a discard? That's a discard. Okay, we'll set it here. I just want Brian to be able to see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Thank you. I'm a thoughtful player. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Um, I am not. Cool. <laughs> oh, that. So I am uh, discarding a four. Okay. Discarding a two. Joker to complete that set. And um, three nines. Tell Grumman to steal your Joker. Um, Sorry. Sorry. Everyone's ratting on you today. Okay. It's because you have negative 200, 400 points. Um, in that case, I'm going to go ahead and use my You Must Be Joking card. Can Cancels any special attack. Is that considered a special attack? Oh, yeah. I think yeah. an attack was something that gave you 
Well, it's, I can hold on to it. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I think it, a special it's not attack. The end of the world. No, I think you can use it. A special attack, I think, is just defined as. Attack card. A special attack. Any card that interferes or penalizes another player. I penalize yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. So you can do it. Alright, I want it back. Damn it. Thank you. Hold on, I've got so many things. I'm using my mutation card to make a 10 into a 9. How do you stop a mutation? Mutation? Yeah, it's the one that makes How do you stop that? You can't yeah. really stop it. Because sure it's, it's like it's like a card, and like it's not an attack or anything. It can be defended against. The only thing I would think of... Oh, and I am using you must be joking. Is because it's not... Mutation. Like, stop by, you must be joking, we're not a chance. Oh, can we stop by, you must be joking? Yeah. Well then, bye. Oh, sorry, mutation. <laughs> so can I use it next time we're still oh, gone? Oh, that's been used. <laughs> really? Hey. Yeah, we're not a chance. See, we still refer to it. We keep it here. We even and so I'm discarding a five. Okay. I'm taking one of my cards from the discard and one from the top. Um, well, because I cannot give it to Blair, I'm giving you the Plague, which gives you 100 points every time it's your turn. Uh, and for fear of retaliation, I'm going to put a feeding frenzy on you. It means that people can only give you negative things. And I still get the points for that. That's right? correct. So I'll do that afterwards. And I'm also going to discard a card. I'll take the seven. And the top. So negative. 100 points for Brian. Plus 100. Sorry, plus 100 for Brian. And I'll we'll discard the king. Well, the king, do you want a feeding frenzy? Nothing, right? She needs that, doesn't she? To stop it? You can stop it. There's always a way to stop something. But it has to be done, like, you know. I thought it was an immunity kind of thing. Feeding frenzy. Stop, but you must be joking or not a chance. Immunity is only for, like, these plagues. Something happens every turn. Okay. Alright, so is my turn again? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. So we are going to put down... Come here. We have three nines. And... Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Hold on. I'm sorry, I'm having a moment. <laughs> You're gonna have a tough time going out though. With all those cards. They could all be and power cards though. Kings. I'm going to discard my triple face eater. Oh, shoot. So now are we playing where you can't have a set of three nines or three kings anymore? We did not say that. Take one card because I've sat down. Mm -hmm. And cannot do much of anything. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to plop down the queen. Take two. Some cards, jeez. And I am going to um, I'm just going to discard an ace. Oh. I need a plus 100 from last turn. Yeah. So you got it. Okay. And Being a bad scorekeeper is what he's saying. I will give Blair a mm. Grim Reaper. What's that? Oh, it's immunity. Never mind. Yeah, yes, she has immunity. Yeah. Uh, Grim Reaper is a card like Plague that would give her negative 150 points every turn, but because she has immunity, that stops those kind of cards from happening to her. Okay, so I'm going down to go sevens and nines. Oh, because Blair went out, she gets some negative 200 points because I'm a bad scorekeeper. My turn? Yes. Uh, oh, no, no, he has discarded yet. Yeah, sorry. sorry about sorry. that. Okay. And I'll discard my, God, my quadruple face here. Boy. And I'm going to 
are the single face eater. Y'all had a lot of face eaters. Yeah, yuck. I'm going to just discard this Joker. I mean, not Joker. <laughs> this Jack. That would be a bad decision. <laughs> that would be a bad decision. All right, I get another 100 points. And then I just take one. Yay. Okay, Joker goes down. Sorry. And King goes down. Oh, and I'll get rid of my Queen. I'm skipping your turn. Sorry. Alright, uh, I'm taking two cards. Awesome. Can I use that? Reverse penalty? That's a good question. Uh, reverse penalty, this card, um, whether it be points or cards, uses as in self-defense. So it's a reverse penalty. So if something happens to her, um, normally like a she could... turn? No. Sadly, no. But normally you would use this, like if um, I gave her uh, a negative 200 points, she, a positive 200 points, she could use this to flip it back to me to give me a positive 200 points. And because of the feeding frenzy, which is bounced back to her anyway, so no. Is the long definition of why you can't use that. Ugh. I'm putting down two, so yay. So the feeding Fives. frenzy attack, well sorry, the feeding frenzy affects the reverse too. It just negates the reverse. She would, she would reverse it to me, but the feeding frenzy would make it go back to her. Why? Wouldn't it? Because you can only, oh, she can only she can be attacked. Can I use a cancel? Okay, yeah, she's been attacked, but she doesn't say she can't defend herself with a reverse penalty like that. Force. You attacked her. That I mean, we can only put down cards against her, but then she could reverse. I mean, it doesn't it still doesn't work here. You can't reverse a skip turn. We'd have to decide to agree on that when it came up. Yeah, but I mean, it's a, a skip. I don't think you can still do you that. You can't do it. Can skip. I use a cancel? Skip the turn. This can be stopped with a steal the turn or multi. You, know, you have to be able to steal your turn back. So now, sorry. I went down. And I am discarding. Um, actually, I'm about to go out. And I'm going to turn to discard five cards. <laughs> Alright, uh, so I couldn't go out because he played the Terminator card before I discarded oh, them. Terminator ends the round and gives you minus 200 points for going out. So now's uh, our opportunity to put down anything we've got? Yes, so Brian gets a negative 200 points for doing that. I've got to count the two cards in my hand because I didn't get to discard them. Oh, damn. Nice. Blair, cosmic chicken. Uh, However, oh, reverse polarity makes it a negative. Oh. Can I cancel? A reverse polarity? Probably not a chance it, I guess. Should not have gotten rid of it. Can be stopped with a cancel. Oh! Cancel. Wow. Damn. Now I have to take ten cards, and I want to use it on Blair, but she's got that reverse thing, so... But um, we don't know if I can use it. We don't. You what? We don't know. I want to use it to uh, take 10 cards on Blair. And I don't know if she can reverse it back to me. Um, we kind of have to make this system. Let's... I think I agree with Sean. You do? I think I, I, would, I can't do it because I have to take every Sounds negative. Sounds good to me. Do you know what I mean? Sounds great. Take it. I'm take 10 you cards. could have made a case for it. But you no, are, it's okay. You are so honest. You're honest, Dave. Maybe I'll get something that helps me. One, two, sure. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not anything here about it in Feeding Frenzy. Just to double check, Feeding Frenzy against yeah, your opponents can attack your victim for the remainder of the round. It doesn't, it doesn't say anything else, that's, that's the vagueness of it. Um, it does say in a two-player game it acts as you must be joking. Which doesn't quite make sense either, but... <laughs> but there you go! Um, so in my hand, I do have this card that I'm going to play myself. Extinction, which gives me minus 250 points. And in my hand, I have a 10 and a 3, which is a plus 15 points. Alright, so... I need to count up my points. Blair's Cosmic Chicken gives her minus 500 points. No, it's a... Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, she undid it. Undid it. 
Hold on, I've got a count up on my card. And you got the 200 for doing that, which I did. And a plus 10 for my two sixes. What do jokers count as? Jokers are 50. Right. Oh, I also have a minus 50 points, which I'm giving myself. So now we add. So any help counting, I'll be real honest. <laughs> Uh, 85. What do regular cards count as? Face cards? Uh, okay, regular number cards are 5 points. Tens and face cards are 10. Oh. Jokers are 50. Ten. And face fingers are whatever they 30, are. 40. Aces, Aces are 10 too. 50. One, two, 65. Three, four, two, two, ten. 205. 205 plus 205 yes. for you? It's still not bad at all. Jeez. Somehow, Blair is still going to be the winner with negative 695 points. I have negative 85 and a uh, soul snatcher. Ah, and Brian has, um, somehow, even though he went out, he is the biggest loser with 210 points. That play, play killed me. Yeah. So see, there... You never know what's going to happen. Now, in a normal game, we would do a couple more rounds. Um, but we're just going to stop it here for you guys so uh, you've seen how the game works. I love it. It's so mean-spirited. Mm. <laughs> thanks, <for>, um, <laughs> thanks for watching, and uh, please uh, remember to come back with our new year uh, in, uh, in January and see what we're playing then. Bye! Bye.